a new search engine uh, that it's called just auto, A-U dot T-O. So, uh, Adam, how are you? Hey, I'm excellent. I'm here. How are you? Very good. Thank you. So, first thing, um, auto, A-U dot T-O. So, this is like a new way of uh, naming uh, websites uh, in the internet, right? Well, uh, you know, there's a lot of companies that have uh, switched to the shortened domain. I think just given the clutter in, in the industry, just in general, a shorter domain is a lot easier for people to remember. And auto is the shortest automotive related domain. So I, I, the short answer is yes, I suppose. Uh, interesting technology starting with that, but there's like a lot more behind it, right? Can you tell us about it? How yeah. does this work? Um, well, I, I, we like to think that we're uh, work like a true search engine for automotive, much like Google works. Uh, we go out and uh, scrape the web uh, and aggregate all of our own data from uh, dealers' websites, and we hold that data. And as consumers can go in and actually go to auto and type in with natural search language, the information that they actually type, the results will start rendering the same way Google works. So um, how does, uh, I mean, you already explained more or less how it is, but like you have a lot of competition, right? I mean, there's a lot of search engines for cars, Edmund, scalablebook.com. So the main differentiators and the, for the results for custo customers, what, what, where are they? Well, I, I would say um, to, to, there's really not a lot of competition to, from a search engine standpoint. There's search engines in the space, but there's not a, a they're actually, they're, there's more search where we're a lot more discovery. So you can simply, again, type in what you're looking for, and we're going to aggregate results in a manner that's much more relevant. A lot of the other sites out there, you actually have to deal with the drop down and it's very cumbersome. You have to click make, you have to click model, you have to click year, you have to click mileage range. And all of those websites out there, it takes about 60 seconds to go through that process before you see a single car. Yeah. In auto, you simply, you can simply type in, you know, white Chevy truck or white Chevy Tahoe and the results are going to come up instantly. We're going to recognize where you are based on your IP address. Oh, okay. And all of our vehicles are, all of our vehicles are geotagged. So we're going to know, we're going to pull up cars based on where you are. Some of the advantages with auto compared to some of these other sites We actually allow consumers to click on a vehicle and engage directly with the dealer. So we're not going to hold them hostage and make them fill out a form fill lead with their name, with their phone number, yeah. with their email address, any of that, any of that kind of monkey business. I think that's a more outdated way of searching, and consumers want to have that. We allow that relationship to foster much more naturally, and consumers sit you know, if they click on one of our cars. It takes them right to the dealer's DDP, which is their vehicle display page, within their website. So at that point, we step out of the equation and, again, allow that relationship to happen much more naturally. Yeah. Um, the consumer can either email them directly, they could call them directly, they can convert to a form fill lead if they want, they could live chat. Whatever they decide to do, it's on them. We simply step out. Yeah, that's actually great because I think a lot of people are still like kind of uh, hesitant when they are asked about emails and addresses and even the zip code. Uh, when you enter a, a, a one of these websites, the first thing they ask you, where are you? I'm like, you're already like, okay, why do you want to know this? I'm just looking for a car, right? Right. You know, and, and not to put, you know, there's other companies out there. I mean, obviously, they have really successful businesses and we're this upstart. We just believe that our technology and the way our business is built. You know, we're really going to kind of shake things up and give consumers and people the ability to search the way they do everything else. I mean, they, no one they can look on the internet and look for anything they want and go create that relationship they want. The same thing we're doing with automotive now. Consumers can simply go in, type what they're looking for. They can browse anonymously. And if they want to see the, the vehicle on the dealer's lot, they can click and they'll see all the photos. They can click and see what the the dealer's website looks like. They can get an idea of the people they're going to work with as opposed to just having to be held captive and yeah. I need your name. And so the old process, I think we're just bringing the, the automotive shopping experience into, you know, the new millennia. Yeah. So, uh, and this is only for used cars and it's uh, with the dealerships, not uh, individuals? So we are going to be um, hosting private party cars. Absolutely. There's a, we're working on a few relationships on some companies that, uh, are only hosting private party cars, so we have a couple of uh, partnerships we're working on there. Um, additionally, we are going to be—we do have some new cars. They're just not uh, consumer-facing 
yet because we're kind of working on some back end details, but we will be adding new cars, um, you know, within the next couple of months. Yeah. So the company just started then. I mean, it's 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 like still. I mean, the, it's all, the site is already functional. I can see it right now. But uh, how how are you in the process of getting everything together? I know how it is. So <laughs> that's a hard question. Yeah. Well, thank you. You know, the site we actually um. We, we came up with the idea in, in 2012. We have a you know a deep background, a deep history in automotive, but we had the idea, and the site has been in build for it was just about three years. Um, it was fully functioning. We turned on sort of in quiet stealth mode about five and a half months ago to get some friends and family um, interactions and just to kind of do some more testing. We launched our uh, PR on March 24th. Yeah. And the response has been amazing. Our traffic has been climbing, and the response from industry and consumers alike has just been really positive, and we're really excited. So I'm in the site, and I'm like looking at the homepage, and I see the first thing that comes out uh, when I open it, it's like a 2013 Cadillac ATS, and then it has like some uh, interaction functionality. That does that mean like I can, if I like it or, or no, deal love or like like new. That means that I keep it into my like search uh, basket, if you want to call it like that. I don't know. Yeah. So the site is gonna there's machine learning behind it. So the interactions, what you have to um, engage on uh, one of with one of your social accounts. With you. right now, it's Google Plus or Facebook. Oh, okay. So if you want you, so if you want to interact with the vehicle, you have to be uh, logged in in some sort of social fashion. If you want to leave a comment. If you think the car is a great deal, you could click great deal. If you love it, you can see there's a few interactions across the top. But what that what those interactions do, it allows consumers to see what other people are looking at. So if you sign on and you can see across that homepage all of these cars that have all these interactions, well, you can not only click and see the interactions, but then you can see the interactions on specific body types in there. So if you are in the market and just in a sense of discovery, then you can kind of go, you can just go see. We also, there's a uh, an analyze feature that shows a regression analysis that will actually show where that car lines up, that specific vehicle lines up on the regression analysis as far as price. Yeah. And, and it's going to be compared with not only in-market cars, but cars nationwide. So and within that analysis, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Like, if if, uh, if you interact while you sign up with your Facebook account or Google Plus account, will those interactions that you do on your website will appear on your feed on Facebook? No, but you will be out. You will be allowed to share vehicles socially. So, oh, okay. Um, that's a feature that we're just still fine-tuning a little bit, and that's why it's one of the reasons we have our beta tag on our website. Um no, no side I think is ever perfect out of the gate. And oh, I know. Or, I think, or even after 10 years, believe me. I, mean. <laughs> I think it sort of allows us to, you know, make sure make sure people know that hey, we know we're not perfect, but we're really close. Um, and we'll probably keep the beta tag on the site for I don't know six months to a year. But um, back to your question about the social piece, you know, it's, that feature is going to be really beneficial. I think if someone's at a lot and they're looking at a car. They can take a picture with their phone. Or they can simply share it from their phone to their Facebook account and ask their friends, "Hey, what do you think about this? Do you yeah. think I should buy this? Uh, do you know anybody at this dealership?" So yeah. it will allow the social their social network to engage with them in that buying process if they choose to. Yeah, that's the beauty of that transparency on the internet, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So Adam Jensen from Auto, uh, we're going to post the link on our website too. So thank you very much for the information and uh, good luck with the site. And we'll be monitoring to see what's going on there. Excellent, Javier. Thank you so much for having us. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.